Hey dimes, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a blue freestyle set. As you can see, I opened a new kit which has a nail file, cuticle pusher, buffer, brush, and fingernail clipper. So I used a brush to get off the dust. Some people do have that big fluffy brush, but I'm going to put y'all on game. Do not use those brushes because you cannot properly clean them. So that is very unsanitary with this brush. I do the proper sanitation method and I get to reuse them for each client. But as far as that little fluffy brush, you can use that to dust off your desk or something. But do not use that on clients. So I start off by pushing the cuticles back. And then I'm going to go into my nail tips. The nail tips I like to use are bta or bt art box something like that from amazon they already have the perfect coffin shape so i like to just sand off the tips of the nails because i'm going to go back in with the sanding band to do the rest of the nail and around the cuticle area and file the actual nail tip once i apply them
As you can see, I don't have to put a lot of work in to get the perfect coffin shape. If I would have clipped them down a little, I would have had to put in a little more work to get them a little more narrow. But these are the perfect coffin tips for people who like this long length. These are considered long for me because I don't have to add any extra tips. So I don't have to double tip it or I don't have to use my longer tips. So this will be considered a long set. So she wanted a long coffin set. So that's what we're going to do. So I did not clip the tips at all. I didn't cut off the numbers. I didn't do anything. I just cleaned them up because the ends, you know, of tips are not perfectly straight. So I like my coffin to be perfectly straight at the end. And yeah, y'all will see how good the shape turns out once I'm finished. But I'm just going to file. Then I'm going to apply my dehydrator and my primer. Again, I'm using the Stay Ready Nail Studio Primer and Bonder. And also, I'm using the Stay Ready Nail Studio monomer. So, yeah. Just look up Stay Ready Nail Studio or I'll put it down in the description box below. And y'all can click it and check it out. Again, it is very affordable. And then the powders I'm going to be using are Eye Gel and Nail Heaven and Mia Secret Clear. So, once I get to those, I'll tell y'all what colors I'm using as well as where I got my decals. Well, not decals, but, you know the encapsulated things like butterflies and stuff. So I did put down a clear first and I'm just using Mia Secret Clear. And then I'm going to go in with Glittering Stream by IGL Beauty. This was my first time using this glitter acrylic. And the application was not that good. I like the regular powders. Well, actually, <laughs> the I got the blues, which is that dark blue that you're going to see. You'll see how hard it is for me to work with that as well. Maybe just because it's a darker color. But it was easy for me to use like the Baja Blue, which is the lighter blue. And also it was easy for me to use the Nude, which is I'm Blushing. Again, these are all by Ideal Beauty. So the dark blue is I Got the Blues, the royal blue looking color. But it does not look like that on the nails. I do have another dark blue, so hopefully that looks like an actual cobalt blue. But I should have known, like not known, I should have known that it wasn't a cobalt blue because I have that on my nails now, as you can see, and it's more like a navy type of blue. And then the blue at the bottom in the left corner is Baja Blue, and that's a really, really pretty blue. Like, I think that's going to be my go-to blue when people say they want blue from now on. And then the nude color is I'm Blushing by IGL Beauty. Also, I'm going to be using a glitter that you're going to see. It's like a clear glitter acrylic. 
and that is in the color Dirty Sprite by Nail Heaven. This powder is so hyped, like really hyped on Instagram. Well, it was before, not so much anymore. People don't really talk about it that much now, but it is a really, really pretty color. Like I actually do like it. This is my first time using it. I've had it for a while now, but I just never could think of a look where I want to use it in. But this was a perfect look to use this, and it's really pretty, and it's a one ounce. But they fill this thing all the way up, I tell you that. So, yeah. Actually, I'm using it now on this finger where I just used it. So, yeah, just stay tuned. And once I get to the encapsulated finger, I'll tell y'all more about what I'm putting in there. So as y'all can see, I am struggling to do this little look thing. I can't even think of the name right now. It's like a tip. But I am struggling. I'm trying to use this tool. It helped a little, but I should have applied the new color backwards like I did on the other hand. I will not show y'all me doing the other hand because it's basically me doing the exact same designs. And I didn't want this video to be super, super long. And I didn't want to speed it up too, too much because it's already in two times speed. The complete video is in two times speed. So, yeah, I did get it on the other hand, and I do understand how to do it the right way now, but I was just struggling because I only literally did this, like, two times, if that, and that was, like, a year ago. So, yeah, just know that I got it, and it's going to be bomb at the end. But keep watching, and I'll come back again when I got something else to say.
So here I'm going to be adding like these little shards type of things and some blue butterflies, dark blue and light blue butterflies. And that's about it. But I got all of these things from Amazon. Just type in like nail decals and you will find them. I think they are decals, even though they're not the words or the butterflies. I think they're still considered decals. I don't know, I'm having a big brain fart right now. But yeah, just look that up and you're going to find all of them and it's really cheap and it came with a pack of like all different colors. So I didn't buy them each separately. And I got this like probably two years ago. So it probably was cheaper then because you know since it's quarantine now, everybody want to do their nails. But that's how I did that one and it came out a little bumpy like in the beginning before, before I filed it. I didn't leave it like that. But it was a little bumpy because I was trying to apply that acrylic on top so that the butterflies stuff going to move around. Because this nail was just giving me a little time. Like, that blue nail was a little much. And all I did was take that, um, I got the blues, and I, like, kind of ombre it down a little. And it turned out really cute. This whole set turned out really cute. It came out better than I expected. Because I do not like blue, like, uh, blue freestyles. But actually, I think I do. Because now that Baja Blue is going to be my go-to. And I'm like, oh, I want a blue, blue freestyle. Yes, girl, you can get a blue freestyle. But... Yeah, um, I went back to that nail and I'm putting that blue at the tip. The Baja Blue is what I'm putting on the tip of that nail. And then I'm going to clean it up and it's going to look really pretty. And then we're going to start filing and y'all going to see how bomb this is going to come out like. I'm just getting y'all ready. I'm just really trying to get y'all ready for this.
So now I'm applying these butterflies. They are water decals. When I first started doing nails, I did not know how to do water decals. Like I just could not figure it out. And it's definitely not that hard. So I got these water decals from Amazon. I just typed in butterfly decals and they came up. They do have like stickers and stuff, but I really do prefer the decals, the water decals, I mean. And also do not use hot water because it will melt them. Like they'll start folding up really, really bad in the water. So I would definitely advise you to use either like cold water or room temperature water. And sometimes they will fold a little bit and you'll just have to either try to unfold it or just get a totally different butterfly. But I got a, a big pack of these butterflies, like different colors and stuff, for probably like $7 if that. So yeah, look on Amazon and get these butterflies and you're going to love them. So yeah, I'm just going to do that and then also... Y'all gonna see me top coat the nails with the butterflies two times because you do not want your clients to like mess up the butterfly because like if you buff it a little bit, like say when I do nails, I definitely like to top coat twice if I have like stickers or something because if I file on it, it will like mess it up. It'll take off that first layer of top coat. So just top coat two times. So when I cure the gel top coat, I cure it for 60 seconds. So I do 30 seconds twice with the gel lamp or whatever. And like I said, again, for the one with the stickers, I put it in there once for 30 seconds. And then I top coat it again and I do it for 30 seconds twice. So a total of 90 minutes for basically the whole hand because I don't just put the two fingers in there. But usually if I'm just top coating, I top coat for 60 seconds. So yeah. So after I top coat, I'm just going to add the cuticle oil and then you're going to see the big reveal that came out so cute. 